Hey guys, hope everyone is having a great day. Uh, today I'm excited to say that I got my Fast Dance certificate. This was <laughs> awesome and terrible at the same time. There's a story behind it. I booked this exam two months ahead of schedule or proposed date to do the exam and I forgot about it. Then three days before that I had set a reminder for me to go over some materials so that I can be ready for the exam and I was like oh crap I've got three days to study for this exam and let me tell you this exam is brutal it's a sec 488 if you go through the objectives it looks just like another intro course yeah it's it, it's an intro course all right to class security but the exam feels like an advanced exam because they ask things that I never thought of you know, mostly for me was like the ISO, uh, ISO framework kind of confused me a little bit because I'm not familiar. I haven't done a lot of ISO work or gone through the framework, but they would ask them questions. I'm like, I, I don't know that one, so I'll skip. So the way the exam is, it's 75 questions, I believe, and you can only skip 15 of those questions. So you have to mentally know, okay. Which questions do you skip? Because what you can't skip more than 15 questions. And you can't make a question to go back to review it later. So you are, once you submit your answer, is the final answer. And I actually ran out of time in this exam. It's an open book exam. And I'm telling you, even if it's open book, it's still hard. So. To make this story short, I wasn't prepared. I had three days to prepare. So I had all my notes laid everywhere and I was trying to cross-reference them and I couldn't find anything in my notes. Like I was that nervous, but I didn't want to pay another thousand dollars to retake the exam. So my strategy was this. Every five questions, I had to skip one that I didn't know so that it gave me enough questions to miss so that I can go back and think about things when I'm not in a rush, which it happened. Actually, I didn't even finish the exam because after I got down all the way to the question 70 or 75, I can't remember the number. So I went back to the questions that I marked as skip. And on the 10th one, my timer ran out and kid you not, I felt like I pissed myself a little bit. And then I saw that I passed and I was like, oh, thank the most high, man. I, <laughs> that wasn't me. That was just the most high doing his thing, looking down at his child and like, hey, son, you got this. Um, so I thank him for that because I really didn't prepare three days for a science course. It's insane. I've, I've never studied for an exam for three days and passed it. Usually what I do is reschedule them. The problem with this, I couldn't reschedule it because the date that I picked, and I didn't know this, was the last day they were offering that exam. So I either forfeit my money or pay for a brand new exam, which I didn't have the money for. And uh, here's a certificate. I uh, tried to air out so you can see. So you guys don't think I'm, you know, BSing here. It's from SANS or GIAC certifications and let's open it, you know, I've been a while, been a while of, since I took, I mean, the last exam I took was MCSA, uh, which expired already. All right, here's a, I'll kind of hide my name here because, you know, it's the internet, you don't want, oh boy, let's do this. We start with the butt, with the top. All right. There you go. I hope you guys can see it. All the way over here. And then... Uh, here's the bottom one. There you go. So yeah, put two and two together. This is valid till 2030, but if I take another one, that goes up. Um, 
So all I want to say is this: you can do it. It's if especially if you got time, you can do it. You can crack this exam. Uh, I played my strength. I am and login and also data security. Those were my strengths. And um, yeah, before you take this exam, I found out this like there's actually a strategy to doing this exam. At the back of book, the last book for whatever class it is, there's a index. It has the pages and the topics. And that's what you should do. That's what I actually used. Because I found out that you know you're supposed to make a spreadsheet with every keyword and page book and page page number and the book. Um, if you search how to prepare for science exams, you'll see there's all these, you know, people come up with all these Excel functions on how to make your notes so you can reference your book once you see it. But the book also itself has that index similar. The only thing I will tell you is don't rely on that mostly because like the first thing they show you is just something random mentioned. It's not the actual explanation of what that keyword is. For instance, if you say uh, KMS keys, it will take you to a page that mentions KMS and not actually explain what the KMS key does. You know? So you have to like, when you're studying and preparing, you have to like cross reference which pages are relevant or which ones are not. Um, just make a, I'm not even going to tell you, just search. I think there's two blogs out there that I found out. And the next one, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make my spreadsheet basically with the book title, which is book one, keyword, page number, keyword, page number. And then, you know, another tab. And then you color code those. And I haven't tried that, so I don't know. Maybe in my next one, I'll try and I'll let you guys know. But all I'm saying is this exam, you, you can do. If I did it in three days and you have enough time, you can pass this exam. I know it's just the uh, cloud security essentials. But, man, like I said earlier, if this was the most high doings and not mine. But I also played my strengths and my strategy was... Every five questions, I skipped what I didn't know. There were <coughs> strides or times where I went with like 10 questions that I thought I knew everything. So I, I didn't necessarily skip a question every five questions. It was just, I put mentally, if I take, for example, the first three questions, I didn't know anything. So I skipped two <coughs> in the first section. And then I went for a span of seven or eight questions where I didn't skip any. But make sure you're skipping them. Don't waste time. If you don't know it, just mark it for skipping. Then when you're done with the exam, go back and start going through those questions that you skipped when you have time to breathe and think about it. I think that's what helped me. But again, you only got two hours. It's not a lot of time. So every question is like two minutes. You know? And if you're... If you're not well prepared like I was and you cross-reference your notes and books, you're going to burn a lot of time. Um, so my strategy is skip questions that you don't know. Don't skip like four in a row. Skip at least one question every five questions. If you're not familiar, if you're good, good for you. Make sure you prepare and prepare and prepare. Because these exams, they are brutal and you want the best for you and you don't want to waste money. Anyways, leave your comments and thoughts down there. If you have a strategy of how to pass these exams, I would like to hear from you. Because honestly, I didn't know what I was doing. I just booked the exam. You know, I was cocky. And now I know. I have to prepare. You know, leave your comments. Tell me how you prepared for yours and tell me how you were able to pass. Alright? That's it. Peace out.